Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, another update for Vainglory is about to roll out in a week or so. Uh, the update changes have already been uh, put up online. So let's go through them and uh, do a quick analysis on what changed, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. And I would love to hear your comments as well on uh, how do you think these changes will really affect uh, the gameplay and the balance of the game overall. Anyways, let's get started. Update 4.13 Hero Balance Changes. Here we go. Adagio, the Gift of Fire, will be uh, slightly reduced on the health ratio, but the slow duration will increase. It's a little bit, a little bit of a rework, and the cooldown is significantly uh, higher on the first levels. Not that much of a, of a change, I think it's alright. Uh, Agent of Wrath B has been changed to uh, uh, nerf it a little bit, so it will empower attacks slightly less. I think it's okay, it's not much of a big change. Adagio was pretty well placed on the on the captain's role, so it's gonna be a bit uh, toned down into uh, the rest of the bundle, let's call it that. Uh, changes to Idris is armor is going to go up, uh, the shroud step uh, cooldown is gonna be higher. So that's weird. Uh, and the chakram is going to be increased the weapon power ratio so it's going to be slightly more tanky not that much but more which is a bit of a counter sense to what idris is supposed to be idris is supposed to be a very squishy hero that just does too much damage and just moves around so much that you can't really uh kill him off but he's supposed to be squishy so it shouldn't have that much armor but it's just five so we shouldn't really affect that much i guess i hope i don't know we'll have to see uh the shroud step cooldown increasing is what's really making me wonder does he really need um uh, change on the shroud step this will make him use a even less on the first levels i mean if you uh maximize it it's fine it's just as it was but on the earlier levels you will use it a lot less so if people want to play it more, the cooldown should be lower, not higher. So this is a bit of a counter sense, but I don't know the reasoning behind this. So uh, let's just go with it. The, the Chakram uh, weapon power ratio increasing, I think it's fine. I mean, weapon Idris hasn't been played that much. It's more of a, of a CP hero. So I think it should be all right. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit before going on. Karas. Um, he got a buff, crystal power ratio increased 5%, the the crystal power ratio for his A also increased, and the damage on his B also increased, but only on the first levels. I think it's good, Karas hasn't been seeing that much play, so I think this will help him uh, get played a little bit more, put him more uh, on the map. Uh, let's move on. Lyra. Lyra is one of the main uh, captain roles, uh, main picks, especially on pro level. Uh, so I'm curious what uh, they are doing with her. Uh, the heal over time health ratio is increased, and the heal per second also increased. So it's gonna she's gonna heal more um, with the A, but the cooldown is two seconds uh, longer. Mm, considering that she's mostly played as utility, and you put a few cooldown items on her. I don't think these two seconds will really change that much. I mean, we'll fill them, obviously. Will you fill them enough to make her come down from the S-tier captain's list? That's the big question. And put her more in the level of uh, Churnwalker, Arden, and that kind of stuff. Um, I, 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 I don't think so. I think that her heal will actually benefit her even more. She wasn't healing as much as you would expect because on the 5 versus 5, if you have your whole team there and she heals like two people, you're, you just won the team fight. Uh, and now if she heals even more and heals over time even, it's um, it, it is, it's going to be slight. It's, I mean, it's not that much big of a change. The numbers aren't that big, but uh, she's going to get better, I think. Not worse with this tweak. Um, Ozo, they nerfed Ozo health amplification just a little bit on the final levels. I don't agree with this. I think Ozo was fine as he was. Uh, his main style of play is to outlast uh, the opponent teams. On 5 versus 5, it's very hard to do that already. You need 
proper captain babysitting Ozo all the time to make sure he stays alive and capitalizes on his uh, carny luck perk. And uh, this is just gonna make him even less pickable than he already was. So I don't agree with this pick. I think he was fine. He could even even got a, another little bit of a buff, in my humble opinion. Ringo also got a little bit of a nerf uh, on his weapon damage. Mm, I can't agree with this, especially if you compare him with uh, Kinetic, with Kestrel, with Gwen. Uh, you will see that... Uh, they already almost do more damage than he does. I don't have the exact numbers, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they do more damage uh, on weapon than he does. Um, and they've been big, picked more than Ringo has. I've seen a lot of people play Ringo, but as a CP uh, mid lane kind of hero more often, actually, than actually playing weapon. So I don't really agree with this. I think he was fine with the weapon damage that he was comparing to the other uh, weapon carries that were around. But let me know what you guys think on the comments below if you think this is uh, better or worse. Saw, so, finally, a buff for Saw. He could really use some love. The spin-up perk, just slightly less. You won't even notice it. Uh, suppressing fire, his B, which people don't really use that much, got a huge buff. Uh, that's pretty significant damage. Uh, the cooldown also uh, really uh, lowered, but only if you maximize it. I think this is fine. This is good quality of life. I think Saw should have more uh, more of a buff than this that he did. Should be doing more damage or have more uh, life steal uh, on his kit somehow. Because, I mean, I'm, I might be biased because I remember Saw when he was a big menace on the early times of, of the game. Where if you would go 1 versus 1 versus Saw, you would always lose. Even 2 versus 1 if Saw was fed. It was really hard to kill him off. He would just hit you so fast and heal up so much that it would be impossible to kill him off. You would have to stun him at least once. Now in 5 versus 5, it's very easy to stun or slow someone. So you can catch Saw off guard pretty easily so i think he deserves more love than this he should definitely get a bigger buff than what he just did but this is a good start i mean at least his b is is doing a bit more damage now uh shin he got a rework uh, uh sacred flames is ultimate non-empowered text updated to reflect so just uh, cosmetic stuff damage rescale so instead of 125 per hit you get 200 per hit but you have a uh, less number of hits uh, I'm too lazy to do the math. I think it should be pretty much the same kind of thing. But I don't really play Shin, so I don't know how much this will affect. You guys that play Shin, do let me know in the comments below. Will this be uh, very good or very bad for him? Please let me know. Viola got another little bit of a nerf. She's still quite strong. Uh, the nerf apparently only affects her C, her ultimate, and the dissonance mostly, the C3. So cooldown is a lot higher. That's significant change. And the burst damage is a lot lower. And the damage over time also a lot lower. I'm... Well, I think this was a little bit too much. Uh, of a nerf on Viola. I mean, I can agree that she deserved the nerf. I think this might have been too strong of a nerf. Uh, you, like, she will not be able to use her C very often, and when she does, she will won't do that much damage anymore. So you might even make uh, the the CP Viola uh, unviable uh, with this. Uh, I'm not really sure though, I don't play Viola that much, so once again let me know in the comments below what you guys think on these changes, if you play Viola or not. And that's it for uh, this uh, video, no more update notes uh, for hero changes. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe, all that jazz. Drop your comments below if you agree or disagree with something that I said. See you next video, bye bye everyone, take care.